Sir friends Moses here from driver success I hope you guys are doing well I know I promised that I would share with you my keto diet experience I haven't yet forgotten that and so hopefully today I get to share that with you My first load today is gonna be a drop in Dallas and then from Dallas I'm gonna go to Waxahachi, do a pickup that comes back here at the rail. turns out um, my Dallas load has been changed because that one is still on the train so I'm gonna do a Wilma and then do a Waxahachi they've given me a third load which will be um, I believe it's Grand Prairie hopefully the bills are in the in the bill box because if we don't have original bills for that um, Starbucks load I can't deliver it because the customer only wants original bills so hopefully my third load the bills are on the train I mean in the bill box <laughs>
guys something real quick. Uh, if I can find it, oh, where is it? 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 This right here is my medical card, and I did uh, mine on in March twentieth, twenty eighteen. It's gonna expire March right there, March twentieth, twenty twenty. But this was uh, a certificate signed March twentieth, twenty eighteen. That's the day when I did my um, my medical. After my physicals, I made this video right here. I'm a small guy, uh, meaning I'm a short guy, which means that my ideal weight, uh, based on the BMI index chart, my ideal weight is supposed to be between 146 and 150. That's the range I should be in. And normally, I usually try to keep it under 155. I try not to go above 155. Uh, 146, 147, uh, kind of, I don't know why it, it feels so, sometimes I feel like I'm so small. So I usually want to keep it a little, uh, uh, really I try to keep it uh, somewhere in, in, let me say, between 140 and 150, I mean 148 and 152, that's where I try to be. But guess uh, what uh, my weight was? 164 164 that is overweight for me for my size 164 which means i really need to lose about a 10 to 15 pounds at that moment i needed to figure out um a way i'm gonna work on my lifestyle change in the past the way it has worked for me usually when i find that i'm putting on weight all I've done in the past is just reduce my uh, my portion sizes, like what I eat. Just reduce my portion sizes and increase my activity. I love working out. I have no problem with it. So as much as possible, I just increase my, um, my workout activity. And then uh, reduce my portion sizes. I, I haven't been working so much of reducing... Uh, like changing what I eat, it for me it has always been more of just reducing my portion sizes and I, I don't do well with restricting myself. I can maybe add in like maybe vegetables because I'm not good at eating vegetables. So I can add in some vegetables and maybe take out a little bit of stuff and stuff like that. But I had never really done anything to do like look at a particular diet. And I don't remember what I was uh, searching for on YouTube. Um, and then I came across uh, this doctor. I think he's called Dr. Bag or something like that. Is that a name, Dr. Bag? I forget the name of the uh, doctor. But I, I don't remember what he was talking about. But all of a sudden, he started talking about the ketogenic diet. The keto, uh, keto diet. And that got me interested. Okay, right now, let's first go do that pickup. We'll continue from there.
for me what really got me interested in the keto diet is the foods you can eat on the keto diet in the past like uh, people would say oh i've had i had heard that you know like things like uh, bacon and cheese and all those fatty things are bad so i hear this doctor talking about the keto diet and saying that oh you need to eat fats you need to eat cheese you need to eat like bacon and fatty meat i mean like i'm like what is he talking about because he was saying that the foods that can help you you know like lose weight and um lose fat weight who was the fatty foods i mean that got me interested especially because the foods he was talking about are foods that i i like and enjoy but i was always limiting myself because i thought they were not good for you so when i had that i'm like i need to give this a good try and so and this wasn't long ago it's, it's just been recent uh, I would say like maybe a couple of months because at the beginning of the year when I did my, you know, you remember that push-up challenge? By that time I didn't know about it. It's just a couple of months ago that um, I started getting to know about the keto diet. So I'm like, are you serious? Is this guy serious? I can eat this stuff and lose weight. I'm going to try this. So I started um, eating like, you know, like I would eat like eggs sausages um bacon i like all that fatty stuff that they talk about on the ketogenic diet that's the stuff i would eat and i think for me also the big breakthrough was like when um i could get a substitute for my bread where i can make bread uh like using uh, um coconut flour and using um almond flour that was a big deal to me and then for sugar using monk fruit i think when i made that video about um about the dot physical somebody had told me about the monk fruit sweetener but i had not tried it out so when when um, this doctor recommended it i decided to try it out and that is what now i use as my substitute i don't use the sugar anymore like the regular sugar so from that time i use the um the mock fruit sweetener because i like it it doesn't have that uh, after taste sweetener like stevia so that's why i prefer it so right now i use the mock fruit sweetener but um for me where the challenge came with the ketogenic uh the keto diet was that i lost a lot of weight and i would look at myself in the mirror by the way I added in on top of the ketogenic on top of the keto diet I also added in um, intermittent fasting because that's what the doctor recommends so I would uh, I think eat I would fast for about maybe 14 hours and then eat within a window of like maybe eight hours right but um, I would eat in a window of 10 hours and fast 14 hours sometimes i would eat in a window of eight hours and first 16 hours um but I, I would also work out now that's where the problem came at least for me with the keto diet i lost weight very very fast and i wasn't just losing you know like fat i realized i was losing my muscle weight and so when i weighed myself i was like i think 142 within like maybe like maybe within a month um of course i had already lost some weight uh, because i was working out and i wasn't I, I had reduced my my portion before i came to the keto diet but when i got on the keto diet like the weight got off very fast uh but my challenge is i was also losing my my muscles and so i didn't like the way i looked i was looking skinny I realized I wasn't even as energetic as I was before and so for me I soon realized I didn't want that so I stopped the keto diet and I started eating as I used to eat before just because I wanted to get back my my weight like my muscles and what have you I'm like dang this thing is it's not good for me uh, it's good in a certain way but not 
that good for me so um i started eating again as i was eating before so that i can get back my weight and so i was able to build my weight back up again and also my energy back up again so for me uh right now what i like about the keto diet and how i'm gonna be using it is one first and foremost i think if you're somebody that wants to lose weight i highly would recommend you try out the keto diet and if you want to lose it really fast try it out together with uh, intermittent fasting it will work really well and it will work fast at least that was my experience the keto diet and intermittent fasting do those together i guarantee you you will lose weight and you will lose it very fast if you are somebody that wants to build muscle don't go for the keto diet my experience at least was like i i lost muscle that's why i had to go back to my uh, uh my regular eating so that i can get back my my weight and my muscle so at the end of the day right now what i'm trying to do now that i'm back at least to where i want to be weight wise what i want to do is now i want to take away the bread because i had brought back in the bread uh so i'm, I'm gonna take away the bread and start using the keto bread because i like it uh it tastes good um i i can easily make it at home so i'm gonna take out i've, I've actually taken out the regular bread now i'm i'm bringing it, i'm bringing in back the keto bread and i'm gonna be eating carbs because you know on the keto diet they say don't eat carbs but i realize personally i need them for energy uh, i just can't go on the keto diet straight because um, i need my energy and since i work out i really need I, I don't want to lose my muscles so i will still be eating my carbs but i'm gonna limit them as much as possible also what the keto diet has done for me is it has taken away the guilt right now when i eat cheese i don't i don't feel any guilt about it because i know it's part of it so i'm kind of doing uh i'm trying to figure out what my body uh, likes and what really works for my body so uh, i'm doing the keto diet but it's not really the keto diet in other words i'm borrowing stuff from the keto diet like uh, stuff you can make like the bread of course as i said for sugar i, I, I now use uh, monk fruit i no longer use the regular uh, sugar and then um i'm not afraid of eating fatty stuff like the fatty meat the bacon uh the cheese all that nice stuff you know like before i used to think it was bad but now i appreciate it so i'm eating that what i'm doing is really limit my carbs but i still eat my carbs and so i want to see how that works for me the other thing that i realized i was doing that i want to change is because i like working out i would work out maybe like five days six days a week i because it, i just like it but i realize that i think i feel tired uh my body i think it it really beats down my body so starting last week i decided i'm gonna change the way i work out so uh, from last week what i've started doing is uh whenever i'm, I'm gonna work out i put on my timer I put a timer on my on my on my phone and I time myself 20 minutes if I get tired before 20 minutes I stop working out uh, if uh, say for example I'm still enjoying my workout and then my alarm goes off it's 20 minutes I stop there and then in other words I'm not gonna be working out more than 20 minutes and I'm also going to be working out every other day instead of doing it every day I'm gonna be working out every other day I could even skip two days and then work out the whole point is I'm gonna now try and see if I give my body more rest will I feel more energetic than I've, uh, I've felt in the past I mean after working out I usually feel good but I also realize I think it's been beating up my body and there is a, a chance that also because from what I uh, I had some people say that could also be one of the reasons that uh, you lose your 
your muscles so i'm thinking i'm not getting enough rest i'm not giving my body enough rest and from what i hear uh, for your muscles to grow you also need uh, to give them some rest so i'm gonna reduce my workout really i'm gonna be doing like no more than 20 minutes and at least three times a week so i'm gonna be working out maybe like every other every other day or maybe skip like two days and then work out but no more than 20 minutes i'm gonna try and limit it to between 10 and 20 minutes those are the workouts and then i want to see how that works for me so it's all about figuring out what works for my for me for my lifestyle so what foods i'm trying to see which foods are really working best for me and what exercise regimen will work best for me so i'm playing around with uh, with my foods also playing around with my workout to see what's the best lifestyle i can get for me to be healthy to feel energetic to feel well rested and overall to be in a good healthy part of it uh, where i'm not tired where i'm not uh I'm, I'm not overweight where i just i'm like um in what i would call maybe like optimal health for me so i just want to encourage you that you guys uh, if you want to lose weight definitely give the keto diet a, a try and add in also intermittent fasting that worked for me it worked really fast to the point that i just didn't like it so uh so for those of you that want to lose their uh lose weight keto diet plus intermittent fasting that i can put a stamp on it if you want to gain muscle don't go with a keto diet at least that was my experience so yeah that's uh my experience with a keto diet as i had promised that i would share with you my experience that's my experience right now just picked up here my lord heading to Haslem.